Hi, my name's Serena, and this is Luke. This is our research project over Salmonella and E. coli. First, I'll discuss Salmonella. Salmonella is a bacteria that can infect animals and humans. Salmonella belongs to a group called gram-negative bacteria. They're shaped like rods and can have flangella to help them move around. There are over 2,500 different types of bacteria. Most human diseases are caused by bacteria belonging to the subspecies called Subsalmonella enterica. It's estimated that tens of millions of human cases occur worldwide every year, causing over 100,000 deaths. Salmonella can live in many animals, such as cows, turtles, pigs, cats, dogs, and birds, like chickens and ducks. Many types of diseases, such as Salmonella typhi, only live in humans. From these sources, humans can be contaminated directly or indirectly. Humans can be exposed directly by eating meat, poultry, or eggs that aren't cooked properly. Salmonella can also spread through direct contact with an infected animal or its environment. Salmonella can be contracted indirectly by drinking contaminated water, other foods, and even utensils like knives and cutting boards, or the hands of a, someone who handles food. Possible symptoms of salmonella are nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, fever, chills, headaches, and blood in the stool. These develop over 12 to 72 hours after contamination. People typically have to deal with these symptoms for up to four to seven days. Here are some ways to prevent salmonella. Be sure to clean all areas after working with the foods. Make sure to separate raw and cooked meats. And make sure when cooking with meat, eggs, and other foods like poultry to be sure that it's cooked thoroughly. And always make sure that you're cooking with a safe temperature and for the correct duration. Bacteria grows most rapidly in the range of temperatures between 40 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, doubling in numbers in as little as 20 minutes. This range of temperatures is often called the danger zone. And finally, be sure to use clean water and wash your hands before, during, and after working with foods, and never leave food out of a refrigerator for over two hours. Now I'll tell you about E. coli. E. coli is a type of bacteria that is commonly found in the intestines of humans and animals. There are many strands of the bacterium, but E. coli has been seen and identified as dangerous to people. E. coli is transferred when a person has now washed his or her hands after leaving the washroom. The particles of the excrement can transfer E. coli from their hands onto their food, hence contaminating themselves and or others with E. coli. You should always wash your hands, especially before handling food. Sources of contamination include, but are not limited to, improperly cooked beef, contaminated fruits, uncooked vegetables, untreated drinking water, unpasteurized milk and other raw milk materials, unpasteurized apple juice, and direct contact with animals from zoos and farms. So, how does it spread? And what other ways can you prevent it? E. coli is caused by eating or drinking contaminated food or water, or by coming into direct contact with someone who's sick or with animals that carry the bacteria. Adults who are infected are typically infectious for a week or less. Children, however, can be infectious for up to three weeks. It has been characterized by abdominal cramping and can appear within hours, but also could take up to 10 or more days to show up. People who suffer bloody stool and blood diarrhea, but it can also cause seizures or strokes. It can especially be deadly to young children and the elderly. Now, here are some ways you can prevent contamination. Bacteria can grow between 140 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so keep cold foods below 40 and hot foods above 140 degrees. Be sure to place raw meat and poultry and seafood at the bottom of your fridge, and use appropriate containers to prevent spillage and contamination. Keep raw foods away from the cooked when storing or preparation. Wash fresh produce thoroughly before eating in a thoroughly clean equipment and area with warm soapy water, sometimes bleach is required. Whole cut beef, veal, and lamb should be cooked to 170 degrees, pork to 160 degrees, poultry to 185 degrees, poultry pieces to 165 degrees, and egg dishes to 165 as well. Anyway, that's all. For more information, go to foodsafety.gov.